Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of That's My Opinion. I'm your host Molly Jordan, so let's get to it. It's been a really busy couple of years and I've missed doing this so much, but I have a huge household and it's really tough to get back to this as often as I want to. I tried really hard to get back to it over the summer. Tarzan had me jumping out of my seat for review and Suicide Squad had me dying to post, but it was this time of our big huge move up here north and time just slipped by. So on this blustery day, I thought now I need to get to this. And what better way to start than the collateral shack? Love, time, death. Now these three things connect every single human being on earth. We long for love, we wish we had more time, and we fear death. Since September, I've been itching in my seat. There's a movie hitting theaters December 16th, and I will be honest, it looks incredible, and I really want to see it. Collateral Beauty is this movie starring Will Smith as a father who lost his daughter in a terrible tragedy. Did you lose a child, Howard? In dealing with his anger of the situation, he's met by three celestial beings in human form. He writes letters. Who are they to? Howard doesn't write letters to people. He writes to things. Time. Love. Death. Kids write letters to Santa Claus. It doesn't mean they're crazy. No, this is therapeutic. And they help him cope with his anger and tragedy. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but is this not the shack? The letter showed up in my mailbox with no tracks in the snow. You're not thinking about going back there, are you? I gotta do something. You know, this isn't a good idea. It's crazy, but this is all I got. Got a fire going inside if you want to warm up. The Shack was written by W. Paul Young and is the story of a father who lost his daughter in a terrible tragedy. Possible suspect sighting. Ground teams found the truck in the mountains. I'm really sorry, Mr. Phillips. <sighs> in dealing with his anger of the situation, he is met by three celestial beings in human form. He's still having a hard time believing this is real. Why did you bring me here? There's no easy answer that'll take your pain away. To help him cope with his loss of anger and tragedy. Hmm. Who did you write the letter to? I wrote the letter to death. Nice to meet you. They're charmed, I'm sure. Nope. Mackenzie Allen Phillips. I've been looking forward to this. Do I know you? Not very well, but we can work on that. This, at first, was my abrupt anger. I was left with not much to say because I couldn't give you a visual aid to help with this issue, but The Shack was a book that was going into a movie. My first initial anger was watching this trailer and thinking, you assholes took The Shack and made a non-Christian movie. Don't try and live without me, Howard. I saw you in her eyes when she called me daddy and you betrayed me. Where were you when I needed you? I never left you. I never left this. Ain't it just like a tear? To go and blow you want me to forgive him? I want him to hurt like he hurt me. Well, now that I have a visual of the shack, Collateral Beauty doesn't actually look exactly like the same as it did in September. I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm going to start with the bad first. The bad. Collateral Beauty wasn't a book. It was just a really great script. So my frustration came with, how did you not just read the shack and replace God, Christ, and Spirit with death, love, and time? You add all these beautiful people to it, and it's going to be a blockbuster hit. Oh, and a Christmas release? Yeah, sure. How does this not scream F the Shack? Which, of course, doesn't come out till March, so the Shack was a huge bestseller, and it reached past the Christian community, and it touched a lot of people. So I was really insulted by this trailer for Collateral Beauty for the sake of the shun it seemed to be giving the Shack, as they were desperately trying to get it to film. However, the good. As more and more trailers and reviews and peeks into this movie, Collateral Beauty is only similar in story, but not in its telling. And it looks incredible. It seems to delve way deeper into the spiritual. It also uses the beings in ghost-like conversation and not a big meeting in this made-up time and space, like the chef. It also looks like death, love, and time interact with Will Smith's characters, best friends in the movie, played by other great actors, and it, and it could be a very different movie altogether. Don't mistake my frustration with 
not wanting to see it. Will Smith, seven pounds, just about did me in. And I imagine it's going to hit all the same feels. The Ugly. As both these movies haven't released yet, this isn't quite a review. But in my research, I did some digging. Originally, Hugh Jackman was going to play Will Smith's role, and I really hope that it wasn't that they casted Sam Worthington in The Shack and they decided to go with a non-similar-looking actor. Rooney Mara was also noted to back out of the original film and the switch of directors halfway through, and, and I'm wondering what happened with all these transitions to have to have to start the movie all over again. I can only hope that it made it a better movie with the new placements. But of course, these things happen. We almost got Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly. We finally make a decision, and that first decision was to go with Eric Stoltz. We shot for five weeks with Eric. He was totally professional, but there was just something missing. In short, I'm really looking forward to both films. I would have liked The Shack to have stood out on its own and maybe really have people come to God for the answers they were looking for, but now Will Smith will be giving us different answers. And that's the entertainment business, and that's totally allowed. You've been given a gift. This profound connection to everything. Just look for it. I promise you, it's there. The collateral beauty. I miss this so much, and I hope to keep it up if not weekly, maybe monthly, movies are my passion and making these videos are my joy. I would love it if you would comment below that you're watching this and any of your own opinions are totally allowed. I hope to do real reviews going forward. But in short, Fantastic Beasts was fantastic. Arrival blew me away. Trolls was completely an unexpected surprise of delight. Oh snap. Yes, Thanks everyone for watching and remember that's just my opinion.